Hey, man. New himself. generation is here to take Listen, it. Listen, Swiss, we might be on the mic, and we might be taking over the mic here, yeah. the new generation in the backseat, but don't worry, on the sticks, the old heads might still have an edge. Mm, well, you know, never discount the knowledge, right? Well, they say it is power. Here. It is power. Bailey just needs to play way more patiently, establish the zoning game that he was known for. You know, the one that took down Guy Guy, the one that took down Mystery. E. And not just that, but has taken down each other over so many weeks, right? These two have some of the most sets of anybody you will see in all of Tri State. These two have been playing here at Xeno for literal years. Almost, right? It's 2018 is when Ultimate came out, so yeah, six years now. Six years. Okay, to be fair, right. it was like December 2018. Eh, we'll count it. So, oh, come on. Fine, half a decade. Does that make you feel better, five, Devin? Five and yeah. a half years. You know, I was actually listening to some people play Friendlies, like, before uh, we actually had a catch on the mic, and the guy was like, man, I've been playing this game for too long. I was a senior in high school, like, dear lord, I was a freshman yeah, in grad school. I'm, I'm, I felt old when Che was like, I've been involved in esports and Smash since I was 14. Oh, okay. When the game, and I've count. been involved in Ultimate since Ultimate came out, and I'm just like, you were 14 Ooh. when Ultimate came out? I was, like, graduating high school, and I know that makes other people feel old. Do you trust me? The 31 year old's feeling it. I didn't realize you had eight years on me, but today we learn new things as Melly learns new ways around the explosive flame and back to stages. We finally get back to the set. Yeah. And, and uh, Jen still trying to find a way to just lodge his first stop. Going to do so. And what better way for Palu to take a stop than just giving you a big old hug and throwing you backwards? Right? Get close. Give hug. Awesome. But Melly's like, nah, six feet away. Yeah, man, this this Belmont is COVID mindful for sure. Finding a way to create some space. Now the da the usual air dash attack, not something you see very often, but at lead gen able to rack on a little extra damage and the patience from him the, to back off their reset just because it wasn't an optimal. You know, he could have gotten a punish, but not as big a one as he wanted. Oh my God! Jen is making every inch take a mile here, and Melly has no not had an answer. No, the answer is just get back on stage. I, I think the answer might be, uh... Don't get near the ledge. Swiss, I, I'm gonna be real. I think we might end before 11.20 tonight. No, no. All right, folks. Be sure to give us a sub, a sub if you want this to go even longer. Yeah, give we'll, us a full six games, honestly. Please. We don't know how, but somehow Devin has rigged it so that when you sub, it directly influences the player's minds to make the games go longer. Every single sub just adds one more game yeah. to the set count. Why do you think Sinji numbers went so long for so many years? It, w it was a best of 15. <laughs> it's not because they wanted to, it's because they were we being subliminally bad. We, we had no control. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he wants you to think, folks. That's why he wants you to think. Really nice use of the reflector there from Jen. <laughs> oh, anyways. Beautiful back air now from... Melly into the grab, just gonna find the pressure, force you to the corner right, get you off stage of the ledge. Classic ledge drop interaction and the initial hit on the holy water to reset Jen past ledge. Not something you see very often, but Melly gonna make it count regardless. Unfortunately though, wide stage we've got an ultimate, a lot of room to DI and find a way up away from that up speckle. Not quite understanding these little down airs on stage that Melly's doing. Yeah, so they're they're just designed to make him slide while he's still in that lag. It Basically, his um, jostle hitbox, which is what the mechanic is called when you run into your opponent and you can't run through them in ultimate, is disabled. So he's able to slide oh. through and use some momentum, but it's not going to matter. The auto reticle disrupting in that chain, and right, we talked earlier, or right, hey, it might be kind of hard for Mr. E to edge guard Melly sometimes just because of the swing. Yes, it's fragile, but it's not terrifying. You know who has a great way to deal with that with no commitment? Palutena. Yeah, exactly. Auto, Auto reticle, reticle. Things like, you know, Snake as well with Nikita, Diddy Kong Barrels are all really great ways to deal with these tethers. Just because they're pressure that can change his angle, but more importantly, have no commitment, right? You are still able to sit on stage, you're still able to sit where it's comfortable, and now Melly gonna put it all on the line here on Final Destination Swiss. What you think of this one? I think this is a great stage. You know, you don't have to deal with the platform, you don't have to set anything up. Instead, you can just make this an obstacle course for Jen to get in. Yeah, right. this is a stage you go to when you want to give your opponent you know, you can't trap your opponent's landing, you can't force them to platform and then punish them, so you just want to say, you have no extra options to land at all. There is one place, and it is in front of my field of view. Ooh, that being said, right, 
This space can also be a benefit for Palu because it means that suddenly there's no traps, right? There's no congestion points for these linear projectiles to cover, right? Jen has all of this airspace wide open to work with, and you can see it in his movement. It's making the game closer, but Melly is still not able to open a wide up lead. What Melly needs to do here is channel in the, you know, the middle school and the high school rage from those melee and brawl days. Final destination. This is how we settle arguments. That, that was so smart. Melly went for the down smash off that holy fire, right? I, recognizing, hey, you SDI out of it, you get down smash. You don't SDI, you get down smash. Jen SDI up to stay up top like he did again there to just stay between the hitboxes, avoid the axe, avoid the down smash earlier, and to stay in the air a little longer. I don't Some think crazy it, heads up awareness. I have not seen anybody get out of so many ho holy waters as Jen has against Melly. And there Ooh, it is that again. SDI. Yeah. Usually, what's been a guaranteed kill for every other player in this bracket, Jen is living. Six years of practice, six years of hand pain, and you know when you're gonna put six years of carpal tunnel syndrome into a set, you better get your rent money for it. You know, I gotta start I gotta start going to the physical therapy or something and just open up a smasher practice. Be like, everybody with hand pains, come to me. I mean, hey, you heard those massages one. that Stop using the little feet on your keyboard. Why are you making your, uh, uh, your wrist only like so much more than Because it's way to. easier for me to type. It's I'm not easier. It's bad for you. Anyway. Yeah. I know, but also, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> as we, Look, we can't talk about it later. Melly needs to act now. Well, Rack I, up his damage. I was going to say, we'll talk about it later. Melly, maybe, uh, you know, his back might be more against the wall. No, I mean, he's got some scoliosis there if he's leaning in that hard. Locked in. Yeah, he is. Oh, no! As they say him, but Jit and Swiss, the storylines write themselves. Melly coming up short of the lead, but will he come up short in this bracket? One stock is going to make all the difference here, and he needs to find a way to dislodge this one from Jen first. Earth, his back now against the wall in the tournament, and every hit matters, and Swiss. I mean, he needs to find I'm this stock off this interaction. There we go! Using the is. counter to his advantage. Melly is still in this, but not if he jumps into a forward smash. Buffered air dodge has to find a way around the auto radical. Great use of the cross there to disrupt it. Find, give him oh, the this is it. He has no jumping jump. room. Yeah. As you mentioned. And Jen takes it. What your, did I say, Swiss? Your Xeno Weekly 335 champion, GG's. And I'll and I'll and I'll take the uh, I'll take the side bet championship. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. yeah. There you go. Yeah, I got three dollars. <laughs> they're yours. <laughs> but I no, that, that was fantastic. That's dinner here around Xeno. Dinner around Xeno. Yeah, okay, like three I, bucks. Three bucks. Okay, yeah, there you go. North Dumpling Bay. North Dumpling Bay V. But no, Jen. I feel like just we were talking about practice, and I think nobody here was more practice against Richter than Jen. It was just all those holy waters. I didn't, every single time I was like, oh, that's a kill. Four times, four times Jen just SDI out of that. Oh gosh, now I'm trying to remember off the top of my head too. Was Jen number 50 or area 51 on the first PGR for Ultimate? Thank you. Uh, production, 51. Uh, but a player who has not been as active recently, right, as at the beginning of the game's lifespan, but certainly, you know, one of those players kind of on the top, top caliber or on the come up for a very long time before he just was less active due to life stuff. And, you know, really reminding everybody who might have forgot about Jen for just yeah. a second because of the amount of players we have here and try to say that, hey, the old guard? Well, they haven't gone anywhere and they certainly have not lost a step. They just got to come out more. Yeah, but unfortunately, we, we lost we lost uh, any more sets to cast. Ah, but what a great top six. That was such a fun time. If we could see the graphic and see where everybody's, uh, you know, kind of path was. Sure, it, the last two aren't updated, but... Ah, yeah. uh, that's okay, we'll oh. fill it in. Yeah, we can we can fill it in, in our hearts. Oh, this one here. Oh, oh, oh we're going to the top eight graphic. already. As we get into the bracket view, you can see Jen had to fight winner's side through Kirby509, Sean, in the melee. This man, winner side top eight bracket, was Olimar Belmont. Belmont Wi-Fi players would have hated it here. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 you come offline to get away mm -hmm. from those players. And then you're like, oh my god, I thought I left you at Elite Smash. Meanwhile, Melly uh, tried his best to take down Team Fundies on the other side of winners, right? Having to Lucina into Palutena. And then, and Loser said, okay, fine, uh, I'll deal with the cheese or two and taking out Luigi. Cody? fought all the way through an early loss to Sora J in pools. Oh my all gosh. the way outplacing Sora J who beat him at 
right in winners. Right. Making top eight, beating John Numbers before losing game three to his carpool, Mr. E. Lastly, That's Justin, gonna be an awkward car ride back. Guy Guy just ran through every gambit of bad matchups, right? Luigi Sephiroth, Luigi Olimar, Luigi Lucina did not matter. It does not matter how big your destroying is. It does not matter how bad this matchup is on paper for the Green Plumber and Ghostbuster. Guy Guy just is gonna do he that was the man's guy determination. Today. His willpower is singular. I don't know if he's a green guy or a green lantern the way he plays with that character. <laughs> I'd say green lantern. You know, you just uh, have the determination and the willpower to get through it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, this is actually Mr. E's lowest placement for a while here wow. at Zeno. That's crazy. And that goes to show you just how stacked New York is. And just how stacked we are here as everybody gets yeah. their prep in for Collision this weekend. Don't forget about Collision 2024, which we don't have we a do slide not have a, for. We don't have a slide for that. We don't need a slide for that. We do have a slide for Swiss. Our lovely production team here at House of Woo! 3000. Four we more months. Four more months. Well, well, how is this still going to be around after We're that? Not, they're not uh, going anywhere. Yeah. But you, And uh, you know what? Since they're not going anywhere, you can follow them on all their social medias at twitch.tv slash house of 3000 or uh, smash.stream. Uh, Blue Sky at, well, house of 3000.nyc slash Blue Sky. Twitter.com slash Devin3000. Hashtag uh, free HO3K to help House get their Twitter back. Or YouTube and Oob at house of 3000 hire them for your events today nobody does better work in the business but swiss i believe that's gonna be it for us here at xeno i've been ritual you can find me down below at ritual cast or you can catch me in a couple weeks at best of the west to misfire speaking of misfires down in nogales mexico I'm gonna be. You're gonna casting. be in Mexico. I'm gonna be in Mexico oh for an event. Oh my god! You Leo, need to send me so Spar many pictures. Leo, Spargo, Sky yeah. J. It's gonna be an absolute banger, folks. You should tune in. But hey, where can was, they find? We can tune in. Where can right. they find you? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter as well at Arnie Hermes, and I will not be in Nogales, Tex in Mexi Sorry, Nogales, Mexico. Instead, you are gonna send me pictures, and you're gonna come back, and you're mm -hmm. gonna be so sad of the state of Mexican food here in New York City. You're gonna be like, man, I already am. <laughs> How does it feel as a California boy? I am suffering every day here. I just gotta I make my own burritos today I at home. Learned Swiss is Californian. Yay, from North Anyways. Cal. Anyways, that's been it from wow, us. Be sure to tune in and next week for another Xeno Weekly right here, same time, same channel, and we'll see you then. We need a Batman transition, man. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>